I selected uh, diary number 13 on page 26. Dear diary, Mrs. Gruel has some pretty amazing teaching methods. Our class just read a book called Durango Street and now we are making a movie of it. The book is about a young African-American teenager, teenager named Rufus who gets out of juvenile hall, lives in the project, and tries to find his biological father. When we find out we're going to make a movie, both my friend and I wanted to play the part of Rufus. I wanted to play the part of Rufus because I live in the projects too. I like him, live in the projects, uh, and did not know my father. I could not for the life of me fathom why my friend, this clean cut guy who seemed to have no problems in the world, wanted to play the part of Rufus. At first, I thought it was because he could act. After a while, I finally asked him, why would you want to play the part of Rufus so badly? He told me there was no specific reason. I did not accept such a neutral answer. I felt, the, I felt that he was hiding something from me. I ended up playing Rufus because Mrs. Gruel thought that Rufus and I had a lot of similarities. Even though my friend pretended he was not upset, I knew something was wrong. The next day I asked why he really wanted to play Rufus. At first he was hesitant to answer. He, he, we walked in silence for a while before he told me, <clears throat> excuse me, for the first time he met his father. He was only four years old. His father walked towards him wearing an orange jumpsuit with his prisoner number across the chest. Behind him, he dragged the burden of heavy shackles. They didn't even have a chance to speak. The police took him away. I felt sorry for him. I knew how hard it was to grow without a father. Finally, I understood his need to play Rufus. He wanted to express his pain through his character. Ironically, Mrs. Gruel chose him to play Rufus's probation officer. Not only did we, did this movie find us, I'm sorry, this movie give us a better understanding of Durango Street, we also learned a lot about one another. We began to understand the true meaning of not judging a book by its cover. When we showed our movie to other English classes, Lots of the students who had made fun of us being in remedial English class began to ask how they could get into the class. After we made our movie, Mrs. Gruel took us to see Hoop Dreams. It's a documentary about boys from the Chicago projects who had a, had a passion for basketball. The characters were a lot like the characters in the book, but more important, they were a lot like us. Like Rufus, most people didn't expect them to do well. They proved everyone wrong. I guess you just goes to show you that if passion is deep enough, you can do anything.